Hey guys, this is a quick video to show off my Hackintosh build which uses an i3-2105 Sandy Bridge CPU by the name you can say it is an second generation Intel processor. I have installed macOS HiSeria on it with the proper GPU acceleration from Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics. There is no problem running this build but the HD 3000 is detected as HD 2000 in macOS. The machine is using the same ASRock H61M S1 which I used in earlier videos. If you are interested, you can check out those by clicking the card above. The exact specification is as follows. It uses an Intel i3-2105 CPU with 2 4GB 1600MHz RAM which is an overkill since the CPU supports only 1333MHz. I plugged in 250GB SSD for faster boot times. I have to say 8GB of RAM and swapping the mechanical HDD to SSD makes a tremendous performance uplift even to such a old hardware. Then I disabled the integrated GPU and I plugged in the NVIDIA GT710 and installed macOS Bixer. It seems to work fine for me with the proper GPU acceleration. And I also have a, a laptop Hackintosh but I don't have any video about that. The laptop is Asus Pro B8430UA. It is a good candidate for Hackintosh. I am able to fix most of this issue which came out. I have given the link for the EFI for both the builds in the description below. Uh, EFI may not work if you are trying to use a future version of macOS. Consider the date of the EFI and version of open core um, to find the compatible OS for the particular EFI. If you want to develop a new EFI go ahead to the guide and you can do it yourself with ease. Let's quickly take a look at the laptop specifications to get a better idea. As you can see here uh, it uses an i7-6500U or i5-6200U. The rest are as usual it uses DDR4 2133MHz uh, SD RAM and the GPU acceleration is fine uh, we can fix that uh, I have fixed that in the EFI and I cannot fix the SD card reader the webcam works fine I need to swap out the Wi-Fi card to, to an Intel one uh, even though it is an Intel one it does not work with Mac OS natively so I suggest you to invest in a Broadcom if you want any wireless functionalities. I have mapped out all the USB ports. I think the combo audio jack works fine, the mini display port and the VGA port if you have one. Smart card reader and fingerprint reader does not work and if you have any 3G or 4G LTE, I don't have any fix for that because at least my variant does not have those things. Audio works fine. I think the battery also works fine. Other than that, just disable the things which doesn't work in the BIOS. Those are the BIOS changes uh, which are needed. Hope you guys find something useful in this video. If so, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.